Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Ah oh god, there was no cave in between parts, so we can go and heal after that battle we had in the last part, and go meet up with Cortez again. Let's see what he has to say about this situation. Hey, hey buddy! We could use your help! Ooh. Oh, what? It's you again. Did you forget something? <laughs> I like how they make a joke out of the whole spooky ooh thing. C -c 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 Cortez, uh, I have to speak to you. C -c -c could you lend me your sh 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 ship? What? What would it possess me to lend you my ship? And who are you anyway? M -m 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 my name is Flavio. We are in big trouble and we could really use your ship. We must protect our crew from bad pirates that are blasting us to bits. Actually, they're missing terribly. So we just need to borrow your ship for the teensiest little while. What are you talking about, muchacho? I do not rent this ship for pleasure cruises. <laughs> and even if I would lend it to you, this ship is magical and it cannot move now. The key to powering this ship is the mystical skull gem. What? The skull gem? You, you mean this? Oh, you! You have the skull gem! Uh, uh yeah, yes, uh, I, I do, so... Alright, what do you say to this proposition, then? Take this gem handed down through generations of my family and lend us your ship. I think that is a pretty fair deal. Do you not think, Cortez, old friend? Old friend? Your ancestors stole that gem from me, you strutting peacock! <laughs> you must be very brave or very, very foolish to ask such a thing of me. I should turn you into a piñata and throw a party on the beach. <laughs> wait, 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 just a moment. Do not make me have Mario trounce you again. While he fights you, I will throw the stone into the sea where you will never find it. How would that be? <sighs> you rattle my bones, Senor Peacock. Very well. I accept your bargain, amigo. Now be very careful with that gem. By the way, did you notice with Cortez's speech bubbles, he has a little sound effect before... Um, like when his text bubble pops up and after his text bubble uh, moves away, I mean uh, disappears, listen. Hear that? Ah, check and mate, Flavio. I did not make my fortune by failing in negotiation, no? You can talk your way through any deal, I say. Now, you take this. And so he does. Seems to go kind of right into him. Ah, now my precious black skull will sail the seas again. I was getting quite annoyed by the sound of cannons outside anyway. <laughs> <laughs> now I can really stretch my bones and wreak havoc on the seas like in the old days. So, Mario, feel free to thank me any time for saving us all. But for now, we sail. And so we do, but in a minute. I gotta give you a little tour of this room because I never really did so before. Uh, it's not really all that much to see, and you can't take anything from the treasure chest, obviously, because that was a part of the bargain of, you know, just getting the star from Cortez. But it is a rather unique room to look around in. Anyway, let's move on here. And go back up to the surface, of which you will find everyone on board! Hey, we're coming too! Let's take them! Come on, all for one, guys! Boy, it let no flop, your fancy fans hog the glory. Come on, Captain Stash. And there's Cortez. It's been a millennium since I gazed out upon the sea. Come to the open waters. Oh, spookiness, but they're on our side this time. Ha ha ha. I got ammo to spare. How's that for boom, bossa boom? You fire cannons here. Without my permission, you have nerve, mortal. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what the? Epic pirate battle for the ages. Look at the x knot stuck to the sails. <laughs> Bring it on, crump and crew. Ugh, I'm gonna sink this ratty old ghost ship to the bottom of the ocean. Hear my voice, spirits. Take their ship and show them the meaning of fear. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Toads and the spirits versus the x knots Mario, my captain, it is now your turn again. Get over there and do a lack cad. And so we do. The awesome music returns for another Lord Crump battle. 
I'm gonna turn you guys into wee seeds. Uh, wait, wait, that's not right. I'll turn you into seaweed. Whoa, whoa, enjoy. How can you enjoy being turned into seaweed? I'll forget it. <laughs> anyway, let's swap over to Goombella because you probably know us. We still haven't gotten Lord Clump Crumb's tattle here. So, bloop, bloop. That's Lord Crumb, not this guy again. Oh, max HP is 30, attack is 3, and defense is 0. Yeah, he's pretty weak, and you can pretty much ignore him aside from, you know, having to defeat him in this battle. But I mean, the x Knots are more of a threat than he is. He just attacks normally, so don't worry much about him. But those x Knots all around him are a force to be reckoned with. I just said that. Oh, forget it. They are going to attack us with all kinds of weird moves. I can just feel it. If we take out the leader, though, they won't have it focused to attack. Get Crumb! So, yeah. Focus on Crump for the most part and disable these guys. Like any x knots that he's got out there, just disable. Oh, thank you very much. I wasn't even paying attention to that at all. <laughs> uh, you know what I, I should actually do? Uh, let's use some items that I haven't really been using. Like, say, this uh, Slow Shroom. How about on Mario? Because this this battle, they can do a lot of damage to you. Watch us. Oh, yeah, five damage from just that one attack. And here comes Crump. He's far, far less of a threat than anything out there, so yeah. Anyway, as you can see, uh, let's see, uh, let's, how about we can ice smash them? Like that? Yeah! Oh, it actually didn't freeze them, that's unfortunate. Well, I'll just let them attack again, I suppose. Because well, it'll be fine, it's not that big of a deal. Maybe I should be doing super guards on them, just to save myself some damage or whatnot. Yeah, I don't know. Because they're doing a lot of damage and it's usually more cost effective to try and do super guards to guard high damage moves because just guarding one a high damage move uh, is better than just doing multiple regular guards. Uh, anyway, let's do... Wait... Uh, hmm. oh, 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 I didn't really show what happens if you take out their x knots do did I? This is why you don't want to just keep attacking the x knots you'll see in a moment here. Now, between turns? Oh wait, he didn't summon them? He's supposed to summon x- oh yeah, wow, he actually didn't summon x knots Well, let's keep pounding on him. <laughs> yeah! The, uh, uh, sometimes he'll burn a turn by summoning more x knots in an un unlimited fashion. Whoa, oh, you're not gonna get off that easily, losers. Let's see how you like this. Oh, must be phase two coming in here. x notes And ceiling beam comes down. <laughs> it's actually possible to skip this phase if you do more damage to him, like... Ah, it's so awkward, the guard. It's possible to skip that phase if you do, like, you completely knock out all of his HP before he summons a second phase of x Knots. And you can always see the x Knot HP on the ceiling there. Anyway, let's do a little Earth Tremor here. Let's see if I can wipe out everything at once just to save a little bit of damage, because now I'm gonna have a little bit of issues disabling them out on the ceiling there. I mean, I could try a clock out, but you've seen that that has a randomized effect, you know, whether or not it actually works or not is kind of randomized, so let's just wipe out the whole crew. <laughs> See, that Earth Tremor can even hit stuff on the ceiling if it gets high enough and strong enough. Very, very handy move. Anyway, uh, I should probably start uh, charging up here. You'll see why in uh, just a minute or so. Oh, here we go. He's calling another crew here. And slow shroom is working its magic. I wonder if I should heal Goombella. Nah, she'll probably be fine. I'll just focus on jumping on Crump here. There we go. And charge. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's kind of tricky to guard against that eating utensil attack there. <laughs> Because you just never know when they're going to fall down. You can't, like, mash the button either, because as you know, that that just fails. <laughs> anyway. Yeah! He's down for the count! Or is he? <laughs> He's healing backstage. With full HP and a huge army of x Knots. Man, this is no good. 
I thought it was almost aced for a second there. But you haven't finished me off yet, you sea urchins. I'm down, but no way I'm out. And alright, let's see. Um... Uh, I think that will actually wipe out Go that attack will wipe out Goombella, which will kind of waste my charge. So maybe I should just attack with a multi bonk on Crump now. Oh, crappers! That was a terrible use of a multi bonk. Well, I got the guard now. You have to press the A button in sequence as it rolls over Mario, then whoever your partner is in back. It's not it's not one button press, it's two. Yeah, Goombella's in peril here, so maybe I should swap her out when it gets to her turn. Um, let's see what I should do here. Um, uh, uh, yeah, Sweet Treat just isn't really that effective at the moment here. How about I... Yeah, I'll just keep doing normal jumps on them, I suppose. Just keep letting them do their thing to show what they've got, I suppose. Um, now... I think I'll swap to Flurry because she's one of the best defensive partners with the whole um, recovery thing and high HP. Yeah. So, Flurry it is. Ugh! But I guess it's not that defensive since he can attack both uh, you and your partner in this phase, so it's not that effective in guarding stuff, I guess. But it does have the ability to, you know, recover stuff. Let's see. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Not good enough. <laughs> I was a little bit late on my timing on the stylish, but eh, whatever. So anyway, let's... Why don't I do a sleepy stomp, just for the heck of it, like... What if I knock him out? Will he be able to team up with the x Nod? Nope, they just attack on your own. <laughs> I never tried that before, which is why I decided to do that. So yeah, even though Lord Crumb jumps on top of the ball to roll you over, they still manage to get their attacks off on you, even if you disable Crump himself. So yeah, the x Knots are by far the greatest threat in this battle, but since he keeps respawning them, it's pointless to keep attacking them. <laughs> anyway, Boozum attack! Extra damage for the win! <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks like he'll be done next turn, huh? Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, poopers. Oh. No chance at destroying me, baby. <laughs> oh, butt attack! Well, that's kind of unsanitary. Maybe he's gonna kill me with his germs later through a long, agonizing battle. Anyway. <laughs> Let's... And, uh, it's over! Bloop. That was delayed. <laughs> Woo! Not too difficult of a battle, but it's pretty fun. Man, this is getting old. How could I lose again? I hate losing. Now I gotta think of another excuse for Grotus. Uh, and with that, po, I'm gone. And so they sail away. <laughs> no chasing after them whatsoever. What? We've done it, Mario. I dare say he won't trouble us for some time. Where to go? It's seaweed. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> uh, yes, I will. And this is what I consider the um, official end of the chapter. I guess you could say because this is where it transitions into the uh, mandatory Peach and Bowser segments. 